do what it do what it do what it do youtube it is your boy do run y'all yo bro yo yo it's my left eye bro it look a little red bro i don't know what i touched man but that, that eye looking a little red anyway y'all in today's video you know i promise y'all i promise y'all last week actually i promise y'all my last video that i was gonna drop our i demo roll all right i'm gonna drop that video for y'all and today is the day that i show y'all my dumb rolling technique all right and i know a lot of you guys that are on this channel right now watching this video y'all probably have never done roll before y'all probably didn't even know that dumb rolling can help you know especially if you're on the minoxidil journey like it will help right i'm not saying that you can't grow hair without dumb rolling but i'm saying that dumb rolling plays a role as a helper when you on the minoxidil journey you feel me before we get to the video y'all know what to do man always your subscribers new subscribers man make sure that y'all like this video share this video man and for those y'all who have not subscribed to my channel like what are you waiting for bro like you watching me make the video right now so make sure that you subscribe to this channel you know what i mean so that way you guys can get more content just like this anyway y'all what is a derma roller what is derma rolling all right what's derma rolling people often ask me questions about this especially even on my instagram account yo the wrong what's derma rolling people keep talking about this like what is derma rolling the wrong so eight Dumb rolling, aka microneedling. So we all know that the, the dumb rolling is what a lot of dermatologists use, you know what I'm saying? Like to help renew your skin, to help promote collagens. You feel me? And a lot of people like damaged skin or wrinkles and all that stuff. They use a dumb roller to help just renew, rejuvenate the skin by punching tiny holes in your skin that promote that blood flow, that collagen. So while the dermatologists use it for their skin and all that good stuff, you feel me? Nothing wrong with it. You guys can dumb roll your skin if y'all want. Nothing is wrong with that, but for you guys that's on here because of the beard journey or because of the monoxidal journey, we use dumb rollers to help promote, you know, collagens and, you know, uh, elasticity of the skin and just all uh, beard growth. Because what you're doing is what you're, what you're punching, like you're punching your skin with these tiny micro needles, like they're really tiny, it's a, it's a hundred of them. So what you're doing is you're punching your skin, right? And what you're doing now as you punch your skin is that you allow the blood flow to actually come to that first layer you know what I mean? like you you allow the blood flow to come because what's going to happen is that the more blood flow that you're able to you know what i'm saying i like have in this area the more collagens you're able to produce the more elasticity that you're able to you know have in your skin the, the more hair growth that you're going to see you feel me and if you're on a minoxidil journey and you apply minoxidil most of the time for the people that have like patchy beards or well, that's not able to grow like uh beards on their weak area when they're dermal and they promote that collagen that blood flow you know on the areas that they're unable to grow a beard and what happens is that that area that they're a unable to promote hair start producing hair you start to see hair starting from valis here work all your all your all the way up to your terminal hair so when you guys, when you guys are derma rolling, it does help, all right? Don't, don't just look at it and take it for granted. Derma rolling does help. And if you do this thing at least once or twice a week, you're going to see better gains, you know, better results. I'm not going to say faster gains or faster results because everything on the monoxidil is genetics, y'all. Everything is genetics, and, but it doesn't mean it doesn't work. It's genetics depending on the speed, on the rate. Everybody grow hair on a different rate when you're using a minoxidil. Not everybody's gonna grow hair in two months, in three months, in four. Some people might take longer, some, some people might take, might not take that long, but you guys know, like, all genetics. Guys, guys, before you guys even derma roll, man, you wanna make sure that you sterilize your derma roller. If you guys have not received a derma roller, if you don't have one, if you don't own one, just go look for one online. It's normally under $20. With under $20, you guys are able to get a derma roller that's gonna last you at least a year or eight months or however you use it because the more that you use it, um, you know, like the needle is not gonna be as sharp anymore. And when it gets to that point, it's like, feel me? Like, you might want to look for a new one. Um, but like I said, this take normally take like eight months or a year. Some people actually can, you know, like stretch this for over a year. But it's like, if you use this every time, all the time, you know, a lot of times, then the sharpness of the needle is not going to be the same anymore. You know, it's going to feel a little duller. Like, it's going to feel a little dull, you know, right? Compared to feeling sharp when you first receive your derma roller. So the way that I sterilize my derma roller, the way that I clean my derma roller, I keep it clean before I even put on my face, y'all. I keep it clean so, hey, guys, look. You can get like a small container. I normally have this container right here in Madrid. Y'all already know, man. Madrid, I had this, you know what I'm saying? When Cristiano Ronaldo was playing for Real Madrid. Y'all already know, man. I, I'm a soccer fan. I'm a basketball fan. and I'm a wrestler fan. You feel me? It doesn't say Real Madrid. It says Madrid. But only got it and bought it because of Cristiano Ronaldo, man. Number seven. Y'all know what time it is, baby. Let's get at it. Use a small container. It doesn't really matter the size of your container. As long as the derma roller, the derma roller head is able to fit in there. But you know, I mean, you're not going to sterilize the body. You're just sterilizing the head, which is where all the needles are. All right, get you some alcohol, man. Look, y'all clean that bad boy with alcohol, man. All right, damn, bro. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. You feel me? Don't drink it. It's to clean. All right, not to drink. Not to get drunk. 
You know what I mean? I'm not talking about that. Uh, I'm talking about this. The, the cleaning alcohol. This right here. I don't know why mine is blue. This is my sister's, y'all. Don't tell I'm using it, bro. <laughs> don't tell her, y'all. But anyway, so yeah, get some alcohol. You're gonna put a good amount in here. I'm not gonna show y'all the process, man. Look, man, I ain't got time for that, bro. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. So look, you're gonna put some alcohol in here, right? Get a good amount in here. And you're gonna take your dumb roll ahead, right? You're gonna dump it in there with alcohol. You're gonna let it sit for at least five minutes or so. If you do it for four, you know, five, six, seven, doesn't matter. I, I know that if it's at least four minutes, five minutes, six minutes, it's gonna be good, right? It's gonna be good to go. Uh, you're gonna rinse it off uh, once it's good to go, and then you're gonna start applying it. But before we apply it, here's what I do. As I, as I, um, you know, like, sit my derma roller in alcohol, what I do is that I take that time to go wash my face, right? Because I have to wait at least five minutes. For me, personally, I have to wait at least five minutes before I even start derma rolling, because I want my face to be as clean and dry, and I want the derma roller to be clean, too, because I don't want to punch anything on my face. You know, that could have any particles in it. All right, so I'm gonna put this on the side, stab it, I'm, um, I'm gonna set this aside. And for the meantime, I'm gonna go wash my face. Now, quick disclaimer, you guys already know, man, the reason why you wanna wash your face and not drum roll on a dirty, oily face is because, guys, if you're gonna punch this thing in your face, right, and you have a dirty face or oily face, right, you can cause a lot of issues. It can cause a lot of face, uh, facial irritation or whatever issue that goes on with your skin, you know, it's gonna cause that, especially if you have acne. Oh my God, bro. You're gonna just have pimples all over your face, all over the area, because your derma roll has to be clean before you even put that bad boy on. It has to be clean, you feel me? And your face has to be clean as well. As you guys can see right now, my face is a little oily because I had lo I had put on lotion in the morning. So you guys see it's a little oily, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash my face. You guys already know what I use to wash my face, yeah. I use this bad boy right here, man, Cetaphil. You guys already know, man, look, they, they went to cut me some coins, man, I've been promoting this product for a long time when it comes down to washing my face and exfoliating and all that good stuff. So this is what I wash my face with, you know, because it just removes all the oil, it removes all the dirt and anything that's on my face and it hydrates my skin. That's the reason why I like using this. And this plus the derma roller for me just goes on well. All right, guys, so I just now got done washing my face. You guys can see, man, the boy looking clean, man, you know what I mean? Looking clean, man. I just dried off my eye. My facial hair as well. You know, you don't want it too wet, man. I mean, you don't actually want it wet. Like, if you're gonna derma roll, you wanna make sure that you dry this bad boy out. So it's been over five minutes already, and um, you know, my derma roller was ready. I went out and rinsed that derma roller, and now it's time to apply this bad boy. All right, guys, look, I call this the three-step method. Derma rolling, all right? So the first step is to go horizontal, you know? So left to right, right to left, however it is, because horizontal is this way for those y'all who don't know. Then we're gonna go vertical, up and down or down to up. Depending on how you start, you can start from back here, up or up, down, doesn't matter. Then we're gonna go diagonal. So that's like in a slanted form, you know, like a slope or whatever you call it, diagonal. So it's gonna go this way, right? So first thing is to go, you know, horizontal, vertical, and then diagonal. Right, and you want to make sure that you do this at least maybe you give it at least five to ten strokes. You ask me, what do I prefer? I like ten strokes better because for me, I like to see growth, man. I like growth, so I'm gonna give it ten strokes. So that's like you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or you can just like go up and down, kind of one time, two, three, four, five. That's a total of ten. All right, let's get started. As y'all can see, man, I'm not scratching the derm roll on my face. I'm not scratching on my skin. I'm picking it up and then move on to the next one as soon as I finish my stroke. All right, so now it's time to attack this place. I'm done with the side and then we're attacking the middle. All right, so now we're going vertical since we finished the horizontal. Now it's all vertical. All
And now we're going diagonal with it. Let's get at it. Guys, that is how I demo roll. Remember, y'all, this demo roll, this demo roller, man, it's, it's only for you, man. Just like, you know, you know how you take care of your toothbrush, right? How you don't share that with nobody else, right? Y'all have to do the same thing with this demo roller, man. I'm telling y'all, because if you punch your skin, bro, you feel me? You don't want nobody else to use this bad boy. And you don't want to use it after somebody else uses it. Keep it for you, man. Make sure that you're sterilizing, you're cleaning, deep cleaning this bad boy. So after I demo roll, you know, you want to make sure that you, uh, like I say, dip it in some more alcohol again, you know, kind of like the first step and wash it off again, right? Because you want to keep this as clean as possible because you're punching your skin, right? We don't want any damages. We don't want any skin irritation. We don't want any infections. We don't want any of that things, any things of that nature, right? We want everything to be clean, smooth, and a nice little process, right? Cool. I'm glad y'all listening though. Make sure y'all subscribing to my channel and liking this video, by the way. So, guys, that is it, though. Like, so after you done roll, now here's the thing. A lot of new people on this minoxidil will make mistakes. Like, okay, cool. After I done roll, it will be best for me to apply minoxidil. Like, no. No. Don't do it. Don't do it. After you done roll, do not apply minoxidil on top of that bad boy. Do not apply it. You're going to mess up the whole process of actually done rolling. The whole effect of it. Right? If you're going to done roll, what you want to do is... Wait at least 24 hours, I repeat, 24 hours, not 5 hours, not 6 hours, not, not even, um, not even, um, what do, I know some people normally wait like 12, like 12, six, they normally wait like 12 hours, no bro, like, do not wait, wait 24 hours, so if I don't roll, let's say, um, when I wake up, right, let's say it's 8 o'clock in the morning, the next time I will apply my noxia is tomorrow at 8 or maybe 9, right, because it's already been 24 hours. You don't want to apply minoxidil in less than 24 hours because you got to let your skin heal, right? You got to let it do the job. You got to let all the blood flow come all the way up, right? You got to let the, the collagen be produced, right? Because if you're going to apply minoxidil right after that, you're going to see a lot of side effects, right? right? It's, your skin is, is going to absorb that really, really fast. And you might see a lot of the side effects that they talk about on that minoxidil bottle. You might see that. You might see that hard, that fast heart race. You might see that headache. You might see everything they talk about. You might, you might, you might experience that if you're gonna apply the minoxidil right after derma rolling. So it is best to not apply minoxidil after derma rolling. Now, what do I personally do after I derma roll? I wait at least six to twelve hours. Let's say if I derma roll in the morning, right? Oh, I, I let my skin heal because. You know, sometimes you're gonna feel that burn, right? It's good to feel the burn. That's why when you dumb roll, you wanna have, uh, you don't wanna press, you don't wanna press it too hard, but you wanna slightly press, like a gentle press, right? Where it's not gonna bleed you, but you're gonna feel that burn, right? That's what you want. If you feel that burn, you know it's good. If you don't feel anything, it's like, eh, I don't know if it's working. I don't know, bro. I'm not a professional at this, but all I, all I know is that if when it comes down to the beard journey, you know, using minoxidil plus a dumb roller, you wanna feel that burn when you're dumb rolling. You wanna have a gentle press on it. And, and just by the way, guys, I did not tell you guys, I am using a 0.5 millimeters, y'all. This bad boy right here, I had got this, I think, for Walmart online. 0.5 millimeters, it's been working great for me for months, you know. Um, I mean, bro, it's been working really good for me. So if you're just starting on your journey, and let's say if this thing right here hurts you a whole lot, right? And you start to bleed or whatever the case is, you might go down to the 0.25 millimeters, which I don't think a lot of people normally use that. But if your skin is like super sensitive, then uh, I think the 0.25 will work for you. But as for me, you feel me? As me that's trying to grow my beard and I don't have like this sensitivity, you know, skin issue, whatever the case is, you know, I am fine with the 0.25. I mean, with the 0.5 millimeter, I am fine with that. It works great. It works fine for me, and I'm pretty sure it works. Good for a lot of the people on this monoxidil champ. So there you go, guys. You guys have it. So for me, after I derma roll, you know, I wait at least six to maybe ten hours, and then at that time, I would apply my oil. You guys already know, man. Like that's like my go-to for everything. 
you know, my moisturizer. After I dumb roll, you know, I, as I wait 10 hours, I apply that oil. Man, a lot of you guys might argue, but doesn't your oil contain monoxide? Yes, it does. You're right. You're absolutely right. It does contain that, but it's overpowered by a whole lot of natural oils. It's not like I'm just taking monoxide, you know, itself and I'm slapping it on my face. No, like the oil does contain it, but it's overpowered by a whole lot of natural ingredients, right? It's like when you eat food, right? If you eat salt by itself, it might taste too salty, but what if you add salt in water or add salt in your food now you might be able to take that it's not going to taste as salty right because you're not tasting the you're not tasting the salt by itself i'm not putting the monoxide by itself right it's overpowered by a whole lot of natural ingredients that's why it's okay it's fine and it's been working for me i have not experienced any side effects but the first time when i first like had to apply monoxide uh, by itself you know after i done roll let me tell you all this right now my face was on fire for the whole entire day and i had a headache you know, like uh, uh, the next day, I woke up with a mean headache. So that's when I realized that, whoa, you know, I'm never gonna do this again. Last time for me to do this again. So right now, all I do is apply my oil, and that is it, right? I don't apply my noxidil, I don't do nothing else. Just the oil, go to sleep, and we're good to go. Thank you guys again if you guys enjoyed this video, man. My name is The Run. You guys can find me on Instagram at underscore, underscore, The Run, underscore. And for those of you guys who have not joined my Minoxidil group page on Facebook, make sure you do so at Minox Kings, y'all. It's your boy, The Run, man. I do love and appreciate y'all. I'm out, y'all. Whoop.